Okay, okay. I made a video uh, about a week ago, and I spoke about a young man who was a potential low-risk hobby ward acquisition for any team that's in, even in need of just a backup big man. And didn't get a lot of views. I guess for some, some you know, YouTube consumers, it didn't really make a lot of sense. But this young man literally is a steal of a draft. Grant the opportunity that a potential team can provide him. He needs the minutes. He needs the experience. But his limited sample size, very limited. This young man has proven his capability and his potential. I'm talking about Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith, man, was drafted with the number 10 overall pick in the first round by the Phoenix Suns in the 2020 uh, NBA draft. Now, coming out of the his uh, coming out of college, you know, he came out of Maryland. His architect was he's a rim protecting, rebounding, potentially stretched big man. Hmm, I wonder who that sounds like in the league. That has windows and overtones of a young Miles Turner. As a matter of fact, Miles Turner was this young man's draft comparison. Hmm, who does the Bulls need? Who does the Hornets need? Now, Jalen Smith's stock is obviously low, but it's rising. And I implore... AK to really think about that. I, I implore, I implore Mitch Kupchak to really give this young man a look. I mean, right now, I'm not sure what the, there's not, there's no reports in terms of what the Phoenix Suns are commanding for this young man's, uh, to actually receive this young man's service, but why not give this young man an opportunity? And a lot of NBA analytics are saying that the Chicago Bulls will make the playoff, I mean, now anyway, right? But, a lot of NBA analytics are saying that the Chicago Bulls lack size. And you think about it, in the East, the Chicago Bulls have to go through either the Milwaukee Bucks or they have to go through the Brooklyn Nets. They have to go through it. Either when the, when the bracket breaks down, they got to go through one of those juggernauts to even get to the Western, to, the, to even to the finals. So what am I what am I saying, right? Because you think about it, the Bulls have struggled with the Pacers. At one point in time, the Bulls got annihilated by the Pacers because they had big men, right? What about uh, Deadman from the Miami Heat? He had a field day because we didn't have the we, uh, we didn't have the size to actually compete with anybody. In the playoffs, we need size, and Jalen Smith's potential. I mean, this young man is currently right now in his five limited games that he had. He was averaging 5.2 points, 9.4 rebounds, 1.2 blocks a game. This man is shooting over 50% with a 56.3 field goal percent. And also, he's over league average shooting from the three with a 36.4 three-point percentage. Why not give this man the opportunity? This is a low-risk, high reward. Not to mention he's 21 years old. 21 years old. I'm making this video now. I've, I've made it before. I'm going on record again saying give this man a viable and just a, a look at this young man. Really give this man a more extensive look at what he can possibly be, how he can fit. I'm not saying this man can, can be a starting big right now, but he's definitely a Definitely, y'all. Think about this. A viable option as a backup. So, in this video, if you think about his strengths, Jalen had Jalen is a wonderful rebounding big. He's a, a reliable shot blocker. He can space the floor. Now, Jalen does have weaknesses, obviously. You know, he's he doesn't have the IQ. You know, you can see it in one of the games, especially the Charlotte game. Uh, Chris Paul was kind of saying, was kind of coaching him through where he's be on the floor. Or he doesn't even have the experience, as a matter of fact. But a lot of folks are saying that the Bulls should trade for a Miles Turner. A lot of folks are saying, and the Charlotte Hornets fans, they're saying, hey, let's go get Miles Turner. You can get a Jalen Smith, who also has the draft comparison of a Miles Turner, to help fill that void. If you have gone this far in this video, 
please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping gems and dimes, man, that may not get a lot of public notoriety, but the Phoenix Suns are shopping this young man. They're shopping him. Not to mention that they've also signed Bismack Biyombo for the rest of the year. That's a bit, uh, I really want to see uh, Jalen Smith get a lot more time to, I guess, increase his trade value, but it's also a caveat to that. Well, if he doesn't get the time on the floor, guess what? His his stock were actually getting being acquired by trade is actually lower. So why not give this man the opportunity? I mean, honestly, this man might be only worth the second round, maybe two second rounds uh, picks, right? Give that man the opportunity. I think, man, that with with experience and time, he can develop the IQ and the and the knowledge. He he can really be one of those high rewards, right? with that minimal risk. Not to mention, man, it's a log jam of big men um, in the Phoenix Suns. You know, tonight they're getting back DeAndre Aiden. They're also getting back JaVale McGee, who was in the health and safety protocol, right? So his opportunity tonight may not even, you know, come into fruition. So therefore his stock will pretty much go down. Whatever stock he had built up on the past five games. Why not? Why not? take an extensive look at this young man and potentially try to work out a trade because the Suns are trying to trade this young man. They didn't even renew his third year option on his rookie deal. So why not give this man an opportunity? If I was, if I was AK, I'm making that phone call today. I mean, this man in his, in his sample size has really been shown to be productive. And we need somebody to spell Vooch. You can give somebody 10, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes of action, man. This man can really be productive. And, and it also think about that how it fits with the game of Zach of Zach of, of Zach and Demar Derozan. It wouldn't even clog the lead in the lineup because Jalen is a is a more than capable stretch three point three point shooting big. If you think about it, his percentages are just the same as Nikola Vucevic, and it's two and in his five games he's had the man has been shooting two two threes per game. He's been averaging two threes per game, which is which is actually more than what Vuce has been averaging over his span. I get it. It may be an egregious, it may be an Iranian statement, but think about what this man, young man could potentially be off the bench, given the opportunity. If you stuck around this long again, I said, man, hit the like button, subscribe, man. Come be a part of this community. I'm telling you, I'll be dropping jobs every day. It will help the YouTube algorithm help push out more content to more audience. So I can get it out there. Peace. Be blessed.